I said, what's up, people of Ghana? It's your boy Omar Coop, the hottest and the finest actor in Ghana. You know what to do, man. AKA Opana, AKA 20 billion. The cast of Fog Boys. You know what to do. Hey, yeah, uh, Universal BB Boy. I'm deep. Welcome back to Fog Boys, Fog Boys, Fog Boys, Fog Boys, Fog Boys, Fog Boys. Yeah, say you're Boys. Um, well, you know, we we came up with the with the idea for Fog Boys because we realized that um there was nothing interesting on the internet on the TV and um and you know we came together to make this series because people were bored and Fog Boys is um is something that's actually going on because guys guys are playing guys are doing stuff you know it's a it's an everyday life thing you know. Fuck boys, it doesn't mean to be someone who's a womanizer or anything. Fuck boys, you can be a criminal, you can be a womanizer, you can be um, opana. You understand? So we decided to come up with fuck boys with four guys in one house with different characters, with different background, with different kind of attitude, and we gave it fuck boys, which is a catching title. And here it is now, fuck boys. Why did I accept opana as a character name? Well, um. The producer, uh, Amini Jibril, is my very good friend. Uh, when he came up with, um, with the Fog Boy series, I had already shot a series called Opana, um, which was which was meant to be a TV series. Then um, later, I decided to put it on YouTube based on the inspiration for Fog Boys. Uh, I realized uh, Fog Boys was doing really good. They started, I wasn't supposed to be part of it. And um, the producer, I mean, he called me and then he gave me the idea that what if you come on Fog Boys and you actually play the character Opana from your series as Opana? And I chose the name Opana for my series I, uh, because um, I wanted to do something different. People were fed up with me playing gay character and all that. I wanted to divert my character a little bit. I wanted to be the liar. I wanted to be the, the dubious guy. I wanted to be the smart one, not a womanizer. In as much as I'm a womanizer in real life, you know how to do me, ladies. You know how to do <laughs> so, uh, if, if, if you know me very well, you know I don't really accept series. I don't, I don't like series. The money is small. But funny enough, I'm not being paid on this fuck boy. I'm not paying me anything. Ever since I've started, once they gave me transport, then Ghana see this. I'll see it here. When I come, they don't even give me food. To, it's nothing. They don't give me anything. But, you know, sometimes um, John Dumelo made a speech at the Ghana Movie Award in 2016. He said, Do not underrate any producer that comes to call you for a job. Um, I didn't take the advantage that um, the producers were my friends and they, were, they didn't have any idea about film or anything about the industry. I didn't look down upon them in a regard that I had more experience than them, but I took the opportunity and we did that. We, we took it like a fun, like a game, like we're just having fun. And yeah, it is, you understand? So I say that no matter who you are, no matter where you've got into, no matter your film or all that, there are certain rules and there are certain scripts that when it comes, they might come in a very low budget or low way, but trust me, some jobs come in a dirty way to put you on the map. Nobody thought Fog Boys will go this far. And trust me, Fog Boys is one of the best TV series in Ghana. The question again, please. Is the movie industry paying? Hmm. Ngoka say when embed na say mama. All I know is they didn't pay me for folk boys. They didn't pay me for folk boys. <laughs> the movie industry. If you, I'm sure if it's paying by now, not be sitting here doing folk boys. I'll probably be in Hollywood. But trust me, for me. From the first day I started with doing movies in Ghana, I never put money in my head. And as a producer, I know a lot of people have gone behind my back to say, oh my dear, you can't even pay you, my dear, you can't pay you. You need to call me, don't pay me, use your head. Because the industry is in a state where if you don't use your head, you go hungry. Nobody's paying anybody. Trust me, nobody's paying. I know, I know big movies that have been to the cinema then, so now the production manager is big. As a producer, he's complaining that he's not been paid for a movie. I don't want to call it that. So the industry is not paying anybody, but the industry is serving people who uses their head to make money. You probably not make money from it, but you make something out of it. I am open up today because of Fog Boys, and I can boldly tell you that I've gotten a couple of endorsement deals because of the brand Opana, not Omar Crook. So it's not about how much you're making in the industry, but it's about your commitment in the industry to every job that comes. Yeah. Fox Boys has been so good to me. I'm not even gonna lie about it. Um, it doesn't mean that I wasn't a star before Fox Boys or Fox Boys came to give me the name, but Fox Boys put me on a map. Fox Boys 
I personally underrated Fogboy from the beginning. I won't even lie about it. When uh, Amin Jibu called me to come and shoot Fogboy, I was like, this is okay. So I was like, let me just go and do anything. Just... Then the anything that I did became something that people wanted to see more. You know, people love Opana. I go on the street and two, three year old kids are shouting Opana, Opana. It's crazy. They're not calling Omar Kruk or they're not calling me from Peter House of Gold. They are calling Opana. And we know the idea or the mentality we had behind Fogboy before we started. And we are looking at it like, is this really what we dreamt of? Do you understand? So it, it still goes down to the fact that you do not underrate any producer that comes your way. Fogboy has put me on a global map, worldwide, international, everywhere. But you know, my fans are my fans. I love them. You know, I, I don't classify my fans as fans, they are family. Trust me. Without these people, Fogboy is nothing. Without our fans, Fogboy is nothing. The young ones, the old ones, the middle age, the old age, we love you guys just as much as you love us. We would not stop shooting for boys till I don't know when. Even if the producers want to stop for boys, I will keep producing for boys. Corona is here. If you wake up in the morning, you don't keep yourself, yourself safe. You take her, you go into your boyfriend, your girlfriend, please. You don't know who your girlfriend has gone to meet. Corona is real, it's killing people. This is my my grandmother's bra. So I have to cut some part of the bra to make note mark for myself. You understand? You have to stay safe. Corona is real, it's killing people. Um, stay safe, wash your hands regularly, use hand sanitizers. Look your nose. Oh, which, well, cut, cut.